Welcome to the Invasion Session 11. It's the 24th of June 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Hi there, my name is Gregor, and I play a dare who can be a bit of a rogue. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Alvin, who is a gnome artificer. Good morning. My name is Alexander, and tonight I'll be playing Fleabite the Skaven, who's still pretty terrible at everything. Hi there, I'm Callum, and I will be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos! That is Callum B, everybody. Callum B. Callum B. <laughs> um, Every time. I can't, I can't help it. That's okay. That's fine. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Everything's okay. So, what do folks remember from last time? We was in a book. Yeah, in fact, before we do the recap, actually, I, I will say that we are down a Callum M. Cognac this week. Uh, Lyuda has left the game, and we may be getting someone new for next week, maybe. But that remains to maybe. be seen. But yeah. No, Lyuda didn't leave. Cynthia Von Ruin just kind of took him somewhere no. else. No, no, you're not <laughs> yeah. really that, clicking here, Scott. That, uh, no, Lauda's no, no. dead. Yeah. dead. Lauda and their player Yoon have left this game. That is mm. that is the statement for MD who is trying to follow continuity and wonder why people just vanish. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I'd say it's aliens, but... I mean, there's other theories about Cynthia, right? So, I mean, that's, we'll just add it to the pile, I guess. Um, <laughs> She's an alien! I mean, back, back in the pile. So, yes. But, on that note, though, last time, what happened? Jezebel lost a bell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it? Anything else, guys? Or yep, is that's it? it. Uh, we had a, a nice <laughs> shopping trip. Okay, yep. Uh, Thea did a montage of, uh, you know, 80s montage, turning her man into mm -hmm. a noble man. Uh, we were inside the book where I believe Alvin learned the most in the book. Yeah, I was. Yeah, because you weren't allowed to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, do anything. Yeah, I was trying to learn some stuff about uh, Victor. No, nope. Victor von Ruin's dad. Um, so I've got that as my current goal. Uh, so question over that. What? I thought you were learning about the mama last time. Yeah, and I did. That goal was completed. That's why my goal yeah, was now. You said you were learning about the dad last time. It was the mama you were learning about last time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but then I was asking about the dad, and now that's yeah. kind of my plan to go forward. Learn yeah. more about his daddy and be like, why don't you ever call? Wow. Why don't you pay child support? <laughs> wow. Right, okay. let's, let's <laughs> get into that. Guys, let's move on. Um, but yeah, the last we left it, we had been picked up by the guards, uh, we were being escorted by the guards to... Oh no, we made it to the gatehouse, didn't we? We were at the gatehouse, yeah. Yeah, so we're at yeah. the gatehouse and that's where we faded out after making light jests at Thea's new man. Yes. Who I now assume is joining us to dinner. Do you remember his name this week, Thea? Haranin. There we go. I have it written down on a piece of paper in front of me. I honestly thought I was about to say Alvin, but then I'm like, wait, that's my name with an H. I think we all know Alvin's secret agenda. You know what's what funny? Similarly, everyone. Oh, you know what was funny is I nearly picked up the skies uh, so. from a lit on uh, level four, and I was like, that would have been so funny because then I could just have been like, I am him. Wahaha. I mean, a shorter version of him, yeah, I guess so. Um, it's mini-me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be in disguise. I like the fact that we've got Beaver and Nugget on the NPC, like, tracker. Like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like this. Um, yeah. Beaver, that was it's me. a horse. It, but, it, it's a horse. A, but it's a horse. It needs its own space. <laughs> And then I've got Nugget, who is also a horse. Yeah. Or is it just like... Uh, Madness. Um, 
I'm going to assume they never made it to the actual NPC list then. Is that a safe assumption? I thought this was the actual NPC list. Oh, you mean the other, the the one with the link? Yeah. Nah. I couldn't be bothered looking up horse art. Okay. <laughs> horse art. Horse art online. Oh dear. <laughs> um, that's probably a thing. Uh, uh, my Little Pony MMORPG. Any affiliations are purely coincidental. Um, so, uh, yes. If that's everything you care to remember from last time, let's uh, look at our goals, shall we? So, goals. Mm, oh dear. Okay, so I, I have live up to my apparent reputation, but but does that I even think I mean? need to put that. <laughs> I have no idea. Everyone seems to think I'm some sort of crazy rogue. Um, maybe maybe yeah, it's you start I mean, every week by saying he's a bit of a rogue. A like, bit of a rogue. <laughs> I know. I mean, that's a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> it's leading, right? It's very leading. Um, I like to mislead. Um, um, let me see. All right, while you're having a think, then, Alvin, you seem to be quite, quite happy with a. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty much just trying to learn his family history at this point. Um, yeah, so the book didn't really mention say much about his dad, so I'm going to question him on that and learn about, you know, like if I can find his name out, that'd be decent. If I can find out what happened, where he is at current times as well, you know. Him just, being Richter von Rund's dad, as you put it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. Oh, Rector, there's your Da Sally Avon. That's not the, the new statement now. Don't you know it's been replaced? Oh, has it been replaced? What is it now? Uh, your Da Guard statues. <laughs> 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 that is the new, uh, that's the, new uh, the new way, as it were. Um, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I guess you could pursue that if you wanted, yeah. Why not? You seem to be Really focused on <laughs> Richter's uh, family. Uh, Cognac's not here. Uh, flea mm. bite. Which which do you think is the the better goal? I mean, I can't answer that, buddy. Oh, I was so close to getting. <laughs> I'm just considering really between those two. I have a, quite a big list of um, ones on hold. Mm. Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, also, to answer your question, no, because he's not here. All right, cool. Um, that's why I was wondering um, would you allow us to change that? What, his goal? No, he's not here, it doesn't count. Okay, good. Just ignore that entirely. You pursue your Works. goals. Works for me. As then. I said, when we get to, um, like, when I have enough data to decide how I want to change the goal system, it might just become, you know, a block of, say, five goals like the Keeper's game. Yeah. No, I didn't, I, I didn't know if that's what we're all going for or not in this one. No, I just all. want people to know how to pursue goals currently in this one. That's all. Just so that it's a bit more familiar if we do decide what to is, make it a free fall. So, flea bite. I'll keep with this one from this session and probably reassess if it does not come to fruition by next And tell us what it is then for the folks at home that can't read the spreadsheet they can't see. For folks at home, I tend to try and go on another journey. Quotations. Yes, the journey um, of snorting a green like an yes. earth element for rock. Yeah. I was going to say, can you define what you mean by journey? We did before. It essentially is, do you not remember when he snorted the green rocks before? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So basically he wants to go time tripping. Yeah. He wants to go on another. And he was um, <laughs> in that weird place that seemed to just have a bunch of rocks clacking off each other and, you know, weird vortexes of green yeah. energy kicking about, you know. Fear and know. fear and loathing in Rinstad. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, that's, that seems like sleep out's life, to be honest, right? Uh, fear and loathing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad country. 
and then see ya. Haran, incorporate into party. I think that's achievable. I would just love it if your goal was just Haran and just leave it at that. That's what it was, <laughs> but uh, I felt like I needed to actually make that an actual um... Haranable. <laughs> Haranable. Thank you. I have words, yo. They're not great words, but they're words. Right, okay, so Haranin becomes a PC NPC. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I can, I can. Even if, like, even just for a day, it's fine. So, okay, that's that's interesting. Um, just in case you know everyone like gets them killed. Obviously, we deal with bonds at the end. Um, bonds. So we'll deal with that that at the end. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty good so far. I... For the sake of um, narrative excusing as well, Cognac will just be with the party but can't really be involved or reacted to for obvious absent reasons. Yeah. Um... Can you be my turtle neck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he usually is because you usually just sit on his neck, do you not? So. Here we are. I can be your turtle, baby. And. Do you want to know my new goal? Uh, yes, I do, in fact. That would be probably useful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so my new goal is attempt to discover what is happening to me, Adair. So, that's uh, far too vague, even though I know what you're aiming for. Ah, okay. I have no clue what you're on about. But, I was just going to say. Yeah, but... Have you got... Like, when... like. When would that be complete? Because technically you're going to keep leveling up, mm -hmm. right? Attempt to discover what has happened to me. Then is that just you start the session and go, oh, it's because when I leveled up, I multiclassed. Is that is that your, uh, your thought process? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, he has no idea what's happened to him. And it's going to slowly happen, but he has no idea why. So hopefully he's going to come across either people with that information, or who knows? Maybe I could be introduced some other way to that knowledge. Mm. I don't see you making much ground on that goal, but if you don't have anything else to put in, why not? Could be the butt cleavage happened. No. I mean, I'm just Seems likely to me, but... <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I've kind of got at the moment, so... Okay. okay. Also, flea bite. Don't don't do it. You you, you had the choice. <laughs> um, I just like the same as sort of what Adair was saying. Like obviously, now that I have something that I can do that, I presume that is no longer really a valid goal. Correct. Yeah. Ooh, Ryan. Ooh, uh -huh. What if it's control? What has happened to me? Mm. Or attempt attempt to control what has happened. So, it's a lot better, but why would that be a problem? Because we have designed ways for it to not be controlled. Ah, but he has no idea if what's happened. So it, it's going to be very... But, creepy. like, as players, right? Because we're writing yeah. goals as players, right? Like, you True. are saying, my goal should be control what's happening to me. It doesn't matter that you don't know it, because let's say eventually you'll know it by doing stuff, mm -hmm. right? So that's fine. That's why that's like an autocomplete which is why that one's a bad goal in my head anyway. Yeah. But the next one of control it, you can't because we made it dice roll dependent. Yes, that's true. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's... I think what would be better for that is to kind of avoid things about levelling up your character for goals. Mm -hmm. Make it about narrative pursuits, not stuff to do with, like, you know, choices you have made as a player to click up. It's why um, Flyweight had a goal about getting a climb speed but it wasn't slotted and has since managed to pick up an ability that lets them do that by levelling up so that goal isn't relevant anymore. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like it, it can no longer be pursued because it's been achieved in the you know, the background. Um, and I even if it was slotted because I achieved it through just levelling up that well, that's not really how it works. It wasn't narratively yeah. done. Yeah, because you don't get to level up to complete other goals to help you level up. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
because that's that, like a, that's a self-fulfilling fun. system which obviously i would love to be part of but no it's <laughs> not in the spirit of how the goals should work so what is adair's primary goal now of things he is aware of because keep in mind soon you struggle about goals try and put it from the perspective of your character so that you can only design it based on what they would know that's if you struggle with them um, designing the goals like look at Thea's. Thea's is very specifically based on Haranen's here now. He should be here all the time. Thus, that's something Thea accepts. Whereas Fleabite smashed up some, or got allowed to smash up some rocks, and then he snorted them and went on some weird trip. Mm-hmm. Okay, my goal would be keep on Victor von Rune's good side through dinner. Is that one? Rector. Very important Rector. legal difference. Sorry, Rector. <laughs> gonna say who? Disney. I, I've, I've never heard of any Victor Von Roon. What the hell is that? <laughs> so I've got a speech impediment. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope the lawyers see it that way. Um, <laughs> from the cease and desists coming. Um, yep. So, like, when you say get on his good side, this sounds a we'll bit stay- like... Um, oh, well. It kind of sounds a bit like... Um, what Cognac had of impress the king, but like not mm. the exact same vein. I'm not saying it can't be a similar goal. What I mean is, staying on his good side or getting on his good side is an open-ended goal. Oh yeah, because it could change. It's oh, like okay. saying don't die is my goal, but then you never complete it until you die, in which case you fail it. Okay. Right. So, I, mean, I do not yeah. have a goal to mind then. Does anybody else have an idea for a dare? Because it doesn't need to be just you that comes up with them. Remember, other players mm-hmm. can give you suggestions based on what they've witnessed. And also, put, perhaps, to help tie in the bonds as well, right? So, mm-hmm. like, keep in mind, all this stuff can be, like, together. It just needs to be something that you actually work on in a game. Used to bet to flee by <laughs> <laughs> There's no challenge in that. You could just choose to, like, forfeit. Oh. Plot flea bite with hallucinogenics. <laughs> Tempting. <laughs> Stop getting people to either lose to you or drug you, <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> okay. I mean, the drug one sounds fun, but maybe not just before dinner with uh, okay. Rictor. Yeah. Especially before dinner. Or during, I guess, dessert, you know, who knows. Um, oh, wait, I think I just figured out how to spread this entire one out. Let's give Fleabite a bath before we go see the king. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean... I don't know how you're going to do that when you're all about to be taken to dinner. Um, like, your your amount of time before dinner is very minute, quite frankly. Um, do you have give bath as a spell? Um, <laughs> more than Kynan's tub of clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, does anyone have persist uh, oh, press to digitation uh, yeah that's the word thank you uh, just call it press it's that. way easier <laughs> <laughs> so um, um MD though have any suggestions that are obviously more achievable and serious nature for a deer um I'm trying to think that my mind's going a bit blank for any. Um, Keep in mind, they can be party goals he pursues, right? Like, it doesn't need to be solely him, it just needs to be something he can do. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, try- I'm trying to think of that. Um, Acquire... Oh, see, I don't know if I can do that yet. What because about... I don't know what's happened to me. No, but you as a player what... can write that. Okay. What about... Acquire what... an arcane focus. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be. I was gonna say. Uh, I was gonna try and get you acquiring a uh, like tran- transport for us, but yeah, the king. I'm pretty sure said he was gonna supply some sort of transport. Mm, definitely but... didn't. I don't think he did. Didn't he? Nope. Uh, not at all. I think he distinctively, definitely didn't. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but, but get, I, I'd, I'd say for a dare, getting an arcane focus would probably be more important. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Let's face it, we're going to spend another four um, sessions here anyway, so... At least. <laughs> and that's just having dinner. <laughs> it's just yeah, that many courses. Go. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Um, so... Yes. And no, I don't think so. I'm not no sure. No worries. 
You might be able to, but yeah. I don't know. Um, oh. He'd need to like do the equivalent of a tuning to it if you want. Like, this is just in regards to him asking, can you make him one? Uh, for him mm. to carry a wire, I'm just talking nonsense now. But like, all right, I was like, what's going on? But like, realistically, maybe. Um, oh. I'm just I'm not sure exactly the ins and outs of what invo- is involved in making one beyond being the person that's going to use it, right? But yeah, if you can buy them from a shop. I don't really see why you wouldn't be able to, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just think it's more interesting if they're made by the person going to use them. But uh, yeah, it doesn't mean to say uh, that you could make it and then give it to him and then he could spend time, like, air quote, attuning to I it. Because yeah. he doesn't need to technically attune to his focus because I don't believe that is a requirement. I could be wrong in this, but I don't think that is a requirement. I don't think so. When I was reading it after the... Um, staff gate. The, the staff gate. <laughs> what, what 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 annoys me is arcane focus is such a vague term. It's like, well, what is it? No, there, it's very clearly defined as like a staff, a rod, an orb, a wand. Like it's it's in the. Oh right, book. okay. You know that I mean, book of you, answers. You, I mean, you expect that that means I can read. I I don't expect that. I, I just think that these answers are out there. That's all. And in some Somehow. cases, like very applicable um whereas arcane focus crystal orb rod staff wand that's like um them so for the benefit again crystal orb mm-hmm. rod staff wand dreadic focuses look like sprigs of mistletoe totems or wooden staffs or u wands and then holy symbols exist as well and they can be yeah. amulets emblems or reliquaries which is so vague, but it just sounds like you huff around a heavy gold chest, quite frankly. Um, I mean, yeah, that, that could work. So that these are things, right? Uh, so the arcane focus is the one he would need, and uh, yeah. You could definitely try and acquire one of those this as your next goal. So, any other goal business before I move on? All good, all good, all good? All no, all good. I think we're all good. Good, good, good. Excellent. Uh, as I said, we'll do a bond at the end. And let's jump in to. Now, am I brave? Do I just put you on the walkway up on a nice evening with the sun setting? Or does that rescue you guys just all jumping off the side of the cliff? Mm. To prolong the so <gasps> we could jump up. I, well, I could jump off the side of the cliff. So I think what I do is I just have you um, <laughs> escorted up in a cutscene. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're now outside his chambers to the castle. Um, you are led in to the castle with all the attendants um, that are all like these metal men, and then uh, you are led into a very grand dining dining hall, and yeah, he's. These are all like taken to like specific seats that these are put into, um, and then yeah, these are left in the room. The room is lined with the uh, like the metal men. They don't seem armed though. They seem more like they've been kind of designed to be catering staff, as it were, or waiting staff. Um, these ones. How many are there roughly? I mean, roughly, uh, probably twelve. Um, and there's like, you know, four to each side, two at the top end of the table and two at the, like, the doors um, that came into this chamber. And then a uh, Richter's empty seat at the far side, because um, he's not in the room as of yet. But what I probably could do is, I could doodle this if you wanted. Oh, yes. yes. We might, would like to sit on the Oh, yeah, I mean, you can Everybody wants to sit on what? <laughs> on the table. Ah. Mm, what I'll do is... I will... Dance, monkey dance! <laughs> Let's move us over to this doodle. I've done that so it doesn't hurt everybody's eyes. Um, and then... uh, I was going to say all I have is darkness. It's because there's no doodle. So, let's just assume... 
Does Alvin have dark vision? <laughs> um, probably, but. Um, and I guess it probably needs, you know, I'll just do that thing again. That is so annoying. So imagine that's the room and that's the table within the room and the door is in where, let's see, probably like here. So, feel free to drag yourselves onto the, the place if you wish. Um, this will be the empty space for Richter here. Boom! What the hell is my computer doing? Bear with me, guys. No problem. Fair pressure of everything, not just making beer noises. Bear noises? Yep, he said bear with me. Rawr! And no. you opened that door. Yeah, I know. Here we are. <laughs> what the hell is my thing doing? Hold on. I'm is the cog neck sitting at one of them? Uh, he will be. Yeah. Um... It's not letting me click and drag my token. Interesting. One sec, one second it was highlighting everything above it, whereas now I'm just getting the a circle with a line through it. You know, you can't do this. Mine did that for a minute, and then seemed to be okay. Hmm. Okay. Bear with me. Go out. Go back. Clicking again, and it's just, just highlighting everything like, again. That'll be his space. He doesn't have a token apparently, and. Yeah. Yes, I like that you made Haranen as well. That's him. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, with the little H. <laughs> well, I was like, oh, I'll just grab a random piece of art. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope, sadly not. Oh. <laughs> In instead, welcome the H Man. Uh, was that you, Ryan, that managed to get that to work? No. Oh. I am. Um... It worked. Elsewhere, shall we say? Um, okay. <laughs> so that's uh, fine. But no, it's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm in the. Uh, I'm here. Never mind. Good. It's fine. Good. 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 I'm glad it's all somehow working out magically and nothing's falling apart. We're all good. Uh, I'm trying to look for something that looks reasonably. You know, like somebody's been dressed up a bit. This can be your Haranen if you wish. I'll do it. Oof. What a handsome man. And, He's uh, so handsome. I'll get his Cognac on the board as well. Bip. And then... Plop him down. So let us space people out. Right, let's get rid of that, shall we? Yep. You're a helicopter pad now. <laughs> <laughs> My fear chopter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, uh, I should probably mention, since mm -hmm. coming into this room, Adair has been with just one hand. So you know, people who wear glasses often rub their nose just at their eyes, like a stress headache. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very I, much so. That's First what Adair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so Adair is sitting at the table, just with his head down doing that, rubbing his eyes like he's got a really bad sore head. Okay. Is there um, anyone that wishes to glean more, or are they happy just seeing their friend in? Um... Is there any food mm. out yet? <laughs> no. And the refreshments? Uh, no. Keep in mind, uh. like, Richter isn't there yet either. Um, even though he, he does seem to... It's not even any, like, food. <laughs> Uh, no. Fake food. <laughs> the, uh, there's potpourri. The, the there, fake fruit bowl and set uh, There's probably like candles and stuff though, if you uh, cared about such things. 
I think we can see both. Okay. Um, let's say. I actually put a token on, no, for him because it bugs me that I don't have one. Boom. There we go. To fail. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! You know when he's entered the room. Oh, never mind. Yep, yep, yep. That was his ego token. <laughs> um, do it again! Do it again! Do it again! So. I think um, while he's not in the room, though, right? So let's go back to that scene. So as you can, you can all kind of like guess at the layout to the chairs and shit like that as well, based on how you are set. Um, mm -hmm. So based on that, let me see if I can just do a little. These will be the equivalent of where people should be sitting. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not where you should be sitting. It should be there, and. Um, And that can just be the. Let's just get rid of that now. Um, I'll do as I will. Can everybody take a step away from the table? Quite a bit. Certainly. So I can select. Quite a bit, or. Okay. Like there? Yeah, just as so I can select everything that's at the table. Right. Right side the room. What about your man? Let me just. Edit I have this. no control over him. <laughs> Which feels <laughs> feels right. Um, I'll, uh, I'll fix that for you now. There you go. You should be able to edit. Aha! Him. Oh, now yeah. she does control him. Right. It's such a real relationship. The reason for that is because I just wanted to move that stuff to the map layer so that it all sits on the map. Uh, you can all go back to your seats now. <laughs> It's just like what, where? <laughs> ah! There you go. Amazing. You just now sit on your seats instead of you know. Look at this it's glorious, glorious work that we're doing here. Um, I hope the folks at home are thoroughly entertained by this. <laughs> Changing um, the world one chair at a time. <laughs> well, I mean, like, do you really need to do it more than that? I don't think so, right? Um, we don't want to do too much at once. Well, this is it, you know, um, and then. I'll pop these guys in because I said there was a bunch of these. So, one, two. This is called Next Cloak, Billowy, Ripsley. 10, 11, 12. And. Anna, this feels a lot more pressured. <laughs> <laughs> Under pressure. I was a lot happier imagining them. Have well, I miscounted this? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I have. Boom. And I just I'm kind of questioning why they're so close to us. You yeah. feel the metallic breath down the back of your neck. <gasps> it's so weird, but straight, kind of cool and nice. <laughs> I like it. Uh, they would be a bit further back. There we go, and that's how they're laid out as well. As I said, they're kind of like servant attendant type things. Make sense? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Are there any windows in the room? I no, but that weird like sky effect um, above, where it kind of looks like uh, the very last light of the day, but the ceiling is illuminated as such, like it's like the last of like the orange light of the day from the ah, suns. Ooh, nice. Yeah, but there are no windows in this room. Just the two big doors oh, from there, and um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I. And then yeah, I. Do you have any conversations I, amongst yourselves before? You know. Mm. Von Rune arrives. Alvin, I see you've sat directly, so as you're close to his kingship. Um. Are you prepared to speak to him? Yes. Yeah, and, <laughs> and the whole time Adair is just almost speaking into his own hand, rubbing his eyes. Mm -hmm. I'll just be like, um, like cut you off and just be like, um, you feeling okay? Um, I have a slight headache. 
And I just kind of go rummaging through my bag really after he said that. Mm, and I just I am kind of kind of thing. Uh, and I just pull out this kind of like green goop and be like, do you, here, do you have try any some. Spell slots left, buddy? I've got three. How? How do you have three? Did we not What's have a long? Here? Did we not have a long rest when we got here? Mm. No. Did we not? Nope. Nope. Have I just made stuff up? Yep. When you leveled up, your spell slots would have reverted, but you haven't actually had a long rest. Right, okay. In that case, I will just remove them. Um, but right, the deer would turn right, to right, you. That. Uh, anyway, I will rummage through, I'll, I'll rephrase that, I will rummage through my bag and then just came back. Look up and go, ah, uh, don't really have anything for that, you know? It's, it's okay, it's just a headache. I'm sure it's going to pass at some point. <clears throat> um, okay. But, sorry, what were you trying to say? Um, I take it you know what you're going to say yes. to... Yes. You're sure? Yeah, I want to talk to the king, and from here it's kind of, due to my height, it's the best place for me to sit, because then I can see everyone. Okay. Um, Fleabite, are you sure you wish to be on the table? <laughs> Sorry, Brian, I'm just laughing at the pillars sneaking in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my doors. god, mimics! Oh. And the They're doors. Mimics. I saw the doors. <laughs> Decorating the place, you know. Carry on. Um, Fleabite, are you sure you should be on table? <clears throat> Fleabite, you just start. Told the dead. Oh, oh, necromancy. Oh, necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know that thing that like mice and rodents do, where they like get closer and closer, but their like feet and core don't actually move. Just like start leaning, stretching over. To closer to Haran and just sniffing and looking at him. <laughs> so I understood sniffing Haran is um, yes. what I understood. Um, I did not necessarily understand all the other stuff relevant to rodents. Um, okay, yeah. His, his feet are in place, but he's stretching his neck out. Do you want to move closer to him then on the actual. Um. Map? Get rid of that. Then let's do that. Fleabag broke the table. <laughs> Fleabag broke the table. Curvy and the hacket. <laughs> Fleabag, get out from under the table. These things happen. Um, yeah. Bam. <laughs> I'm waiting for the chairs to arrive next. Nah, <laughs> ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, uh, I thought need to subscribe to Patreon. Yeah, like pay me money to have more things. Yeah, that's that's it. That's how it works. Um, anything else that you um wish to discuss? Um, Alvin, you're. What are you going to ask King? <clears throat> what would you? Uh, what I just kind of look at him with my head tilt and be like, hmm, what would you ask him? Um, about the, you know, the robot we're doing for him. About the ba 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 No, the, the job, or um, to go to the, you know, oh, my head hurts. Like, Alvin's just sitting there like eyes wide, I'm like, ah, uh -huh. I know those words. We need to. I don't know. Oh my god, the table vanished! Where's the tray? I got a better table. <laughs> <laughs> ah, somebody paid for it. That's uh, it's okay. the HD remaster. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, let's look at Sorry, this. Yeah, it's getting better. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, carry on. Sorry, Sorry. Yeah, what were you saying, man? Um, no, Adair is just, his head's killing him. It feels funny. He's not sure what he's trying to say. Blue wind thing in pain. Yes, he does seem. Maybe he's oh. got. Maybe he's got some trap there. <laughs> uh, and Alvin's just like holding his stomach, and giggling away at that. Should take silence as a spell, hey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there'd be a throne at some point. <laughs> um. Why don't you gnaw chew on table wood? Always help free bite, yes, yes. Um, thank you, friend, but I do not think this is going to help me. And the wind thing ask who I heard. I feel strange, heads hurting. I feel it's like I hear things. I do not know. It's hurting head. Too much smart thinking, yes. Mm. Need to act more, think less. Um, I take into consideration for future. Thank you. I think Theo leans into Haranin and says, He's not normally this strange. I dare looks up. And then I think she thinks about what she just said. <laughs> and then goes. Oh, I like yeah. how you check to see if there was a chair beneath you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just oh, yeah. one I was just wondering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but I was like, did I get his fancy chair? <laughs> just the collection like cushions. <laughs> so bad. Sorry, uh so you said what to Haranin, sorry? He's not normally this strange, then you kind of just... And then, like, does that kind of look... Well, you can't see under the mask, I guess, but does that look under, under the mask of... Um, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, the whole thing's a bit strange, quite frankly, let's face it. Um... Um, do not worry. I'm sure I will be fine. I just... Maybe I am a bit on the hunger side. Three bite silent image, some um, like a glass of wine in front of them. Uh, I think so, yeah. I think that's within the capabilities of your spell, is it not? <laughs> yeah. And just say, um, why don't you drink Slurpius? Oh, and, oh, um, thank you, thank you. Um, and he reaches out to pick it up. And obviously your hand immediately just goes through it. <laughs> uh, it's bad because I knew this is something you do. Now I wish my goal had been to... <laughs> <laughs> Trick. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> um, Elvin, perhaps are you going to ask about um, the the job, or is are you going to be asking a, about his faja? I'll be asking lots of stuff. I mean, doesn't our conversations work? You ask stuff, they tell you stuff, they ask stuff, Remember, more stuff gets done. We are guests. <clears throat> We are guests here, <clears throat> and we have been invited by the king. Um, where did everyone go? Don't worry about it. Okay. okay. <laughs> 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 um, I'm like... It's neat. Yeah. Uh, and I'll just be like, yes, we are guests. Yes, so maybe, you know, you should um, act... You know, let let his lordship Kingman do all the speaking. 
But then that's not a conversation. That's a statement. Well, no, it is soliloquy. <laughs> I just look over at Flea Bite. I think like, everybody looks like, over at Flea Bite just like... <laughs> it's like... The fuck? Dan, he is good. Um, I think Flea Bite would like to just quickly run over the table to stand there and say to... Um, Alvin, uh, I hold out in my, my paws uh, um, a green gem thing and a um, like a necklace um, and say Halfling, you make make into um, you set gem into a necklace hmm. I could probably do that for you Fully mm. bite. Where did you get this gym? It is free bites. None of your business. Mm. I would just, uh, as they're kind of talking, I would be like, I'll, I'll like place the gem in the necklace down and go into my bag to get my jewelers tools, which I'm definitely sure I have. Um, yeah, I do. Okay, this I do. Is, is this time and place for this? Yes, now, now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I'll just start kind of tinkering away on that. Uh, Ryan, what would I need to roll for Jiller's tools? Uh, what's yours under? Uh, just uh, put this stone in the necklace. So when I, I thought I'd just click on Jiller's tools, but then it's asking me what attribute. Yeah, I'd probably say dexterity, right? Because it's probably fiddly. Yeah. Mm. And submit. Oh! Hello, guys. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, Ryan, in the in the time that we've taken to get here, it can be assumed that Fleabite stuffed some like scraps of cloth into his bell so that it doesn't bring. Why don't you give me a stealth roll for this act? To use inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Like that seems completely fine. Yeah. Well, it's at least silenced to a 15. Right. I will, uh, yeah, I'll just be tinkering away at them. Um, but just to make it a bit more time consuming, I'm going to say that obviously I. I know what I'm doing, but it's still going to take about an hour for it to get set. Okay, so you're basically just lying to Fleabite? No, no, like, just like... But you are, because it doesn't take an hour. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, fine. <laughs> uh, okay, in that case, yep, tinker away and just kind of find it up, pops it in quite, quite easily, actually. It was like, wow, like, I mean, a 22, I'd like to think it's like, yeah, like, he probably could have done this. Like, it's like, yeah, there's literally just a, a slot that says insert gem here. And, uh, yeah, pop it all in and go, here you go. It's uh, complete. Hope it's to your liking. It's maybe taking like five to ten minutes somewhere in that bracket, right? Like, that's been yeah. very quick indeed. It's, I just went back to his corner. Uh, like, um, Narratively, can it be assumed that I stop wearing that? I mean, it can narratively and mechanically be assumed you start wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think um, Haran's just sitting there, like, shifting uncomfortably, quite frankly. He's not um, looking well. I guess, like, maybe there's, like, some sweat on his brow. Um, he keeps, like, fidgeting in his seat that now exists. And, um... Yeah. Um, if, uh, yeah, I think, I think... After, you know, all that happened, maybe after some time, he would look at Haranin and be like, Are you... feeling okay? 
guy like swallows hard and he says I've, 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 I've just never met or be invited to dinner but by my king before it's it's, it's quite a big, big deal what if, what if I say something I shouldn't I just start um, would I be able to hear this actually yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just I just start laughing and then be like, "Well, I think the guy's behind you. I'll see to that." <laughs> he goes He's paler. okay. He's okay. The cutlery is simple. Uh, the small fork on the far right is for salad. Then you have your fish, then your meat, then your coleslaw, and the underside is your knife. <laughs> and there we just start explaining all the cutlery in front of him. Should have taken the silence spell. Um, uh, I think Thea just says, <laughs> "We've um, anything you say can't be worse than anything." And she just kind of looks around the table. Flea bites giving a really good like scratch. <laughs> she, I think she just motions to flea bite, going, "Hmm." Ryan, can I just say? Suggest that he's good. It's like, Ryan, can I just say, I think there's something really wrong with Roll20 because it was taking ages for this scene to load for me. Uh, it's just like it came every day off recently as well, so don't worry about it. No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding, just because obviously... It's almost it's, like I know. It's almost <laughs> like you, you keep padding things. Mm. He's setting the scene. There's nothing wrong with that, man. He's getting it ready Ooh. for the, the king. Ah, see, now Ooh, I know there's a room right. circle. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> No, this is just how you, you walk into like a room and then slowly things appear that are clearly needed for the dinner to happen. That's, <laughs> you know, it's a room of requirement. Evidently. Food appears. No, don't be daft. That's a much higher tier of the Patreon there, Alexander. <laughs> um, also, I don't apologise for the decor not matching at all. Like, um, who am I? I'm not Runestead royalty, right? Um... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so anything else of importance you want to say? Because like, I know that Thea just hinted at the fact that she looks at the empty seat. But who were you kind of motioning that to? Oh, I was not. I was motioning to flee by it. <laughs> to tell Haran that it doesn't matter what you say, you're probably not going to be worse than... And then motions to the rest of the party. While flee by it does his horrific scratch. Mm. And then... Um... Any reply to that, Flea Bite? Keep scratching. <laughs> That's probably... There we go. That looks about right. I was like, why did that not look right? <laughs> Good. It probably... You know that thing cats do when they just, like, rub their cheeks and stuff? Or we do that just on the table. Okay. And, just um, in the corner of it. Probably. Dirty. And I guess she pats uh, her on the shoulder and says, yep, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> I think, like, it we'll maybe catches him off guard a little bit. Like, when you touch his shoulder, he kind of, like, flinches a tiny bit and then, like, kind of relaxes it a little bit when he realizes it was you. And then, um, with your five foot long arms. And then, um, yeah. There we go. Um, oh, cancel. Pat him on the shoulder, <laughs> then go back to my seat. <laughs> it's that scene from um, Batman from like the eighties where it's a uh, him and Vicky Vale sat at dinner, and he's like, "Could you pass the salt?" <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> she does. She goes. Oh dear. Could be coming to Pat's America. The that shoulder. version was better. <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. So um, yeah. Anything else? be said at the table covertly as it were um, I wonder why there is extra chair they could not know that Tia's new Pavrin was joining us there are several extra chairs there's three I can see right now I feel like this room wasn't specifically designed for us and Callum laughs because it was. <laughs> I think it was almost uh, on demand designed. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah. It's like this this table normally only sits four, but it's got that wee middle section that uh-huh. expands. Like, yeah. 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 You've just seen that's what those guards were there for. They're all actually just holding extra stuff in case more people arrive. You just <laughs> keep extending the table out. Um, but yeah, sorry. Alexander, you sounded like you were about to say something. Could be wrong, though. There are things I could say. Why not? I mean, say something anyway, just for the banter. Sure. Uh, Flea Bite um, takes a good, takes like a, a claw and just like scratches up the um, table a little bit, just to see if it has any like give. Uh, Flea Bite, we need to stay on good side of King. Don't wreck his stuff. That's a valid point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like... If, I mean, it would just be a wee little scratch. And, like, depending on whether it... Um, like, any of it... Um, like, sawdust it up. If you need to blunt claws, do under table. He might not see. Okay, wind thinks beast. Mm. Wise, wise. And, yeah, he does that. But this time he takes all of his... Um, Fingers and <laughs> does it onto the, the underside of the table. Well, I think we found our second elephant. Um, so, yeah. The joys. The joys of Flea Bite. Um, I think with that, Flea Bite being under the table, um, let's just have you actually, you know, off the table for that particular interaction. We um these two guards you just might see the pings eventually, who knows? Um these two. There we go. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those two. Um they uh, stand instead of facing the table, they kinda of, like stand and face each other, like very abruptly. Um and then all the runes on the floor light up. Um Adair sets up into proper posture. And then appears irregular sized, not ego sized. Um, yeah. Richter <laughs> von Rune. Kind of just like. I stand. <clears throat> flashes in to the room as if by magic. But nobody can prove it, so. Nah. <laughs> Unless you can, in which case it was magic. Um. But yeah, so he kind of like steps in and uh, walks his way over and uh, takes his seat and then he says I thank you all for accepting my invitation to dine with me. Mm-hmm. And he says it in such a way Once. that he poses his voice to the empty chair that Flea Bite should be in. <laughs> I just be like Man, hard to turn down an offer here. This place is amazing. It's like the whole room just appears before your eyes. When he sat down, I resat. Mm-hmm. Uh, like stand up, sit down again type thing? Or? Yeah, like yeah. the moment he arrives, stand up to gesture, you know, welcome, sire. I, think Her- I feel like Haranen probably <laughs> did the exact same thing um, as well. Like just he wasn't sure if he was going to stand up and then you stood up anyway and it's not your king so he stands up um, kind of like kind of bows and then you know sits um, and I'll no less of that nonsense (laughs) I'm just going to delete that because it's so animated (laughs) 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 it's so distracting Um, but yes it's not quite that level yet Um, (laughs) yeah and then a yeah, like Richter's still staring at the empty chair. So he might jump back up onto the. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. And then uh, I think like you just hear the kind of the rumble of his voice over the table, and he says, "Is your seating not to your liking?" And that seems a flea bite. Flea bite, sit in chair, sit in chair. Um, I think Fleabite looks at um, Cognac to see if he would, if he has any like reaction. Nope, because he's not here. 
OK. <rire> euh... I, I, is, is he looking somewhat like miffed? He's just, uh, he's, like just, he's just staring directly at you. Um, his face is no one there. Like, uh, where are we? There is his expression. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it eats your soul. <laughs> Cannot see reach from um, tables, uh, seat, chair, sit. I think he turns to Alvin. Who clearly can, and then looks what? back. These are the same size, and flea bites. Oh can right, reach. yeah, right. Okay, sorry. I was, I was, so I was like, I can what? Also <laughs> go on the table. No. <laughs> Alvin doesn't eat with his face. Like, <laughs> and uh, he looks back at flea bite as if that was his reply. You know. Comparing your dimensions with uh, Alvin's dimensions, and yeah, he's just staring. Uh, quick wisdom check to see if that sort of thing would register to flea bite. What do you mean? It'd be more like insight, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, this is like I feel like a lot of that sort of um, thing would just go right over his head. I think it does. <laughs> I mean, yup. Yeah, I think Fleetwood just blankly like looks at him waiting for a, a verbal response. I'm I'm pretty sure that went over your head and the guard's head behind you. Yeah, right out the door. Um, is anyone else going to take the hint of that? Um, I mean, I'm at the opposite side of the table, and I've already, you know, Fleetwood, sit. In chair or on chair, try somewhere on the chair. I think I'd just still be looking at him confused, like, why? Are you st what was this there for, King? He's still staring at Fleabite. I think Fleabite will now move and, over. And I'll, ju I'll just like stare. Sorry, I'll, I'll just stare back at with him, at Fleabite with him, because I'm like, ah, right, this must just be the etiquette here. I think Fleabite would be standing on the chair, though. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um... And also, um, sheepish is the wrong word, but a bit, like, scared. Yeah, no, I get you. Um... Mousy. Yes. <laughs> Quietly cautious isn't a terrible word. Um, let's see if this actually works. And then... The carpet Bam. is gone. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> why it was worth changing, I don't know. But here we are. Yeah, magic why, carpet. I to, like, a nice touch. It would be hilarious if I'd rolled a stealth check or a slight <laughs> hand before that, just to see if I'd stole the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's more underneath this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Are, are we in a different room to the throne room? Yes, very much so. So these carpets are all intact. Uh, yes. Uh, for now. Yeah, are these more now. of his, the king's artwork on the walls, these green things? Hell yeah. Big tapestries. Yeah. I can't it's wait. It's all by him again. Is it the same style as his, as before? Uh, it's all again like countryside. Pictures of the countryside. Any of us recognise them as um, the landscape of like, exactly where we I don't know. Why don't you roll history? I guess is the best one for that. If him to cared enough to know that, right? It's kind of a memory skill, I guess. Uh, I've got a flat zero in history, but <laughs> oh, no! Oh, wow. So does Lee Light. Uh, yeah. yeah. Where is history? Not very good at history, but oh, that's decent. Uh, Theex is an advantage anyway. So if you want to roll again, just for the sake of it. Yeah, yeah you've seen not? most of the countryside, mm -hmm. whereas we haven't. Uh, Alvin and or Adair, do you fancy doing it or he's not fussed? 
No, uh, I'm not fussed. I'm more just intrigued as to what. I'm more just intrigued as to what or appear next in the in the <laughs> coffee room in the co- in the dining room. So we do is we close our eyes for giggles. five seconds, oh, and then when we open them, we have to tell say what's changed. Yeah, like what's what, what could possibly be different? Yeah. Um, I decided to roll just because you said. Yeah, that's quite right. Yeah, just yeah. I actually did. Well, that's my best roll of the night. Cool. Yep, that's usually how it works. That'll be your best roll of the game, <laughs> <laughs> the whole game from now on. I think that we're all not very good at like, our our modifier anyway. All right, go on. Who did I miss? I missed that one and that one. Perfect. In fact, wait. Is history not based off intelligence? Yep. Uh, yeah. Screw. Yeah, you're meant to be the smartest of us. Yep. Screw it. Boom. There you go, trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just that you're looking up from like you're you're tinkering with the jeweler's kit, um, and then uh, uh, you maybe decide to put that away and go, oh yeah, that's a uh, that place because maybe you just looked around when you were being flown over the countryside, you know, with the the rune guard when they brought you here. Mm. But yeah, I yeah, it's literally just um, different parts of the country of Valeria that you see, um, like hmm. I recognise that that is the country. <laughs> mm-hmm. Seems very, um, very proud of the country that obviously he has, evidently. Um, mm. But yeah, I, mm. I could probably. I think in, in Thea's mind, she's imagining like the landscapes with like the addition of a like a volcano erupting, and then like the original, and then who one was like a dragon breathing fire on it and then it back to normal and just stuff like that kind of coming up with scenarios in her brain okay interesting any particular reason or no um i think it's just you know she's just creating scenarios or scenarios are appearing before her within the paintings and then they're going away and then using this scenario appears Okay, yeah. It's a landscape thing. Sure, why not? And, um... Are, is any of this like stuff that, um... Is this anything Thea's actually seen in her lifetime? Oh, possibly. Maybe, um... I don't know if there are any volcanoes about in this world, but maybe, maybe there was. I mean, probably, right? Like, they're probably yeah. a bunch. I doubt, she, I doubt she's seen dragons thinking, but she's got dragons on the brain, so... Okay. Um, yeah, the... Um, conversation, I guess, then, eh? He kind of, like, stops looking at Fleabite. This is Richter, that is. And he says, Our meal will be with us shortly. Do you wish some of the local vineyards wine or would you prefer something else such as fresh spring water I just kind of go like hmm may I have a apple juice and he kind of like nods to one of the uh, the attendants <laughs> who uh, just kind of walks forward and pours you a cup of apple juice yeah, I'll just like look at this, like take a sip of it and be like, hmm, that's really nice. Do you have any limes? And kind of like nods again to the attendant and then attendants bring you limes. And like, <laughs> it's like, it's like several in a bowl with like a side dish attached to the bowl um, that has like a knife and like a kind of cutting board. I just like cut up a lime into like six wee bits and put like like squeeze three of them in and put them in and like take a sip and I'm like hmm hmm do you have any cinnamon? And he looks at you 
and it says, if you require further refreshment, you may interact with the staff directly. And then he turns to everyone else, as for the rest of you? And then he kind of looks uh, at Dad, the, the wine would be lovely. <clears throat> uh, yes, I'd, I'd love to partake in the wine. Yeah, this guy wine. is just there, yeah. attending to you. This guy comes forward, attends to you. This guy comes forward, attends to you in Haranen. Cool. Uh, this guy comes forward to attend to Fleabite. And uh, this guy comes forward to attend to Cognac. I think Althea puts the, her mask on the top of her head as she's getting wine. Yeah. Uh, Haranen asks for a water, awkwardly. Um, is what he asks for. And then I think the yeah, like maybe maybe like slams the first wine and just looks at her and goes, No 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 no, he wants he wants wine. Yeah, and he's given a glass of water and a glass of wine. Um Adair would asks also for another, obviously. Adair. Adair would also like a glass of water to accompany the wine, so as I can be the snob that does the wine smell and you know, yeah. sort of gurgle. Uh, trying to pretend to be a connoisseur, but basically trying to look like he's quite civilised in front of the king. Yeah. And you're, um, you know, adorned as you wish for such a thing. And then, um, yeah. Three uh, bite would turn to the metal thing with quite a lot of sort of trepidation mm -hmm. mask. Um, what meat drink have you? <laughs> meat drink? <laughs> Just bring him some, like, gravy. <laughs> the uh, attendant turns to you and says, clarify. says clarify awful any blood do you have a preference to animal and you hear that from the king three bites one surprise and the king just looks at the attendant and then the attendant uh, puts down some kind of a uh, goblet of blood in front of you. Mmm, tasty. Uh, yeah, I think three point went down. Yeah, it's as horrible and metallic as you can imagine. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. See, I'm intrigued. I'm, like, I'm deciding whether or not Theo will be like, <laughs> oh, that looks interesting. Maybe I'll try it. Mm. What blood taste is this? And then a uh, the king says, "How are the attendants?" It is a surprise. It was surprise. Now want to know how to make it? Perhaps you will have a guess at the animal you are drinking. Did you say dwarf thing? Yes. <laughs> Can kind of narrow his eyes a little bit. And he says, no. And then a... Uh, I think this was a Gregor question more than a, a dear question, wasn't it? it well, I was just wondering how the attendants are bringing this random stuff so quickly. Like, they're not... Just seems to be appearing the with them. Back? No, they're, they have not left at all. They just seem to be yeah. furnished with it when they need it. Right, interesting. Mm -hmm. We've now got a servant standing next to all of us. Yep. Um, could, could I perception to have a more accurate guess? Yeah, sure. Uh, Dwarf thing? <laughs> yeah, <fair. laughs> um, 
It's yeah. flea bites blood from the future. <laughs> That's future flea bites problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if anything, he's just going to catch up to him with it, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Some game there. Yeah. It's a zero sum game, yeah. Um, but yeah, so the um, the king says, I trust you all have enjoyed the hospitality my country has to offer you. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. <clears throat> it's a lovely city you have. Uh, we partook in some local uh, tavern and some food and drink. And yes, uh, searched around, uh, got some shoes. Indeed, and he kind of like nods once at that, as if, okay. Uh, um, he turns to a, like, Sia and Haradin, and he says, I trust that you have all found the citizens of Valeria, and specifically Runestad, welcoming. They have been most welcoming. Haradin just mm. looks like he's even paler now, like, he's just, yeah. Ah, <laughs> welcoming might not be the word <laughs> that Thea feels mm. about some of these citizens, mm. quote unquote citizens. Indeed. Um, is that easy I to think read she... on you? Do you think? Do you know? What I think it is probably. Um. Right, I'll do she a, doesn't I'll say do a, anything. I'll do a roll, right? A random d20 roll, and we'll see how... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I random. think maybe her hand is, like, on... Like, feeling, like, on her other mask. Um, mm -hmm. And kind of, like, you know, running her hand across the crack and then across, you know, the, the sides, the, mm -hmm. the mouth where she scored it with the knife. And then, um, I think the, like, the king obviously notices this. Right, this discomfort in you um, with an at 20, I feel like that's fine. And, yeah, uh, that's fair. Yeah, can I turn to goes, Miss Tor, is there a particular discomfort you wish to share? I would hate to think my country unwelcoming. I think she may, like bites her lower lip a little bit, and um, just looks over at um, Mr. Rune, or Sir Rune, or Lord Rune. Monarch and she Lord just Rune. Says, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she just says, um, "There was this one." Citizen. Hmm. I think she puts her mask on the table as well. Speak your mind, Miss Tor. I was gonna say, like, I'd even like lean in close. I'm like, ooh, this is getting interesting. Um, I think she tears up a little bit. So I'm thinking about it because. <laughs> You know, getting getting drunk to kind of deal with the problem, I guess, kind of just puts it off for later. Um, and just... Uh, uh, yeah, she, I think she just says, uh, jeweled teeth, witch. And she's just kind of staring at the table, like fists clenched. Uh, she motions for um, uh, some some wine. Yeah, and um, none of the uh, the guards are moving, and uh, Rune is looking at you. Tell me Maybe of this knows. jeweled Sorry. teeth which you speak of, yeah. and be Maybe careful your words. Um, yeah, maybe she like picks up like her empty glass and tries to drink out of it. 
and then uh, does the motion for wine and realizing nothing's coming and she just says and she, I think she puts both her hands like flat against the table and kind of doesn't sit stand up but kind of you know sits more upright and kind of leans over the table and looks at Richter von Rune and calls his mama home yeah <laughs> And says, the old woman with the teeth instructed me to leave her city. And then, and then I think she just like headbutts the table <laughs> <laughs> and like lifts up her mask. I think Rune is just staring at you. And then she cries. With her head on the table. I think Haranin um, like moves to you and uh, is in some way trying to comfort you while also not trying to offend the king by having stood up and moved, right? Like that really awkward... Uh -huh. You know, this is not socially awkward at all, but like also this person's now crying and I want to comfort them. Um, mm -hmm. So like he moves kind of closer to you to do that, um, awkwardly moving around the uh, attendant, and uh, the king looks at the rest of the group and says, "Has anyone else been treated so rudely in my city?" I think as she's sobbing, the the mask kind of drops out her hand and lands on the table when he says that. Mm -hmm. I would just be like, "Well." Now that you mention it, yeah, that um, woman of which Thea was speaking of, don't so really see, understand. Keep in mind, Thea mentioned an old woman. Yeah, the one we met was young with the grill. Oh, right, right, yeah, okay. Um, I'm speaking. Okay, I'll rephrase it then. Um, I'm. We also kind of had an interaction with a lady, woman, person who claimed to maybe be your mom, but according to the library book, sorry, but your mom passed away. I think. So who could this woman have been? He very um, briefly states to you, Elvin, measure your words carefully regarding my mother. No, be like, I meant no offence, but from what I was aware of, your mother was... Um, Parted? So who could this person have been? Also, the guards and like kind of like frantically gesture towards the guy beside me. Just like they she was like standing right in front of them and they didn't rec like register her. That woman also had jewels in her teeth actually. Felipe tried to steal them. <laughs> He's just kind of like taking in what you see very carefully. And he says, mm -hmm. I'm afraid what you claim is quite impossible. My mother is indeed dead. Exactly. This must and be some I kind of imposter then. Did um, they travel with you? Have you been followed to my kingdom? Yet. Um, I would just say like, Exactly. My thoughts, an imposter, which I think is just despicable. And I would never love to like to see somebody make such a insult of your family. But from what I can tell is we haven't been followed, but I believe she's already been in your castle. His eyes narrow. What he means is, when we met her, uh, your guards 
did not react to her. She seemed to not be in their vision. And she walked right through the gate. No. Like, and like, I'll just be like, I'll hold out my palm and like walk my fingers along it. Mm-hmm. And just be like, walk right through the gate. Just like that. Okay, that's slowly now it's... So, if this is the case, I am afraid our dinner will have to be postponed. You will be returned to the villa. And he stands up and then just like walks away. And heads to the uh, the ruins. They activate and he vanishes. I'll be like, wait, wait, I'm not, I need to talk, talk. yep, yeah. oh, he's... He's gone. He's, he's gone. He's... Can, can I quickly rewind a wee moment? See when uh, Richter was chatting with Thea and Thea was smacking her head into the table, making a big noise and everybody was very distracted. Mm-hmm. See my guard. Um, I was... I say guard, my server. Mm-hmm. Uh, because of what I've witnessed of them being able to just get things, I made up the excuse that my knife was not very sharp. And do they have something sharper, perhaps with some sort of uh, crystals in the hilt? I, sadly, nothing, because they stopped moving, remember? I wasn't sure if they stopped moving because the king was talking. It's, I was hoping no. they were still serving when it was just a chat. It was um, very much he was put on edge, quite frankly, um, by Immediately. talk yeah. of, you know, some, you know, old jeweled teethed witch running around claiming it's her country and city. Yeah. It's not, um, not ideal. Dragon, 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 possibly. So, uh, yeah, the attendants um, very quickly can I say, please prepare to be escorted back to your accommodation. Shall yeah. food be provided later at accommodation? And then uh, one of the uh, attendants states that uh, the accommodation is kitted out already. Well, it doesn't necessarily ah. use that terminology. That's blood. It does not reply to that. I'll just be like, ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, flea bite. Is, is we can go to butcher. Flea bite. We can go to butcher in city, and you can try different bloods to see which one is your favorite. Sad flea bites. Yeah, don't worry, flea bite. They have many bloods in the butchers. These are then um, taken all the way back to the villa. It's probably some kind of like slow, awkward walk, and then like I think Haranen at some point goes and like just tries to like comfort Thea on the way. I am like trying to make sure that you're okay and. Like, he keeps apologising, but he's not even sure what he's apologising for. He's just kind of awkwardly mm. apologising for apologising, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I think she's, like, doing that, um, you know, where she's just kind of, like, looking forward, maybe eyes slightly glazed over. Um, she's definitely, she definitely picked up her mask when she got escorted out. Like, that's <laughs> my fine. Before, uh, before anyone says anything. Um... And, like, she's kind of maybe half acknowledging anything people say, just in kind of, like, mm, eh, mm. Whatever the hell is happening in Scott's life over there with all those extra noises we're getting. Um, hmm? Yeah, we're getting whatever else you're doing coming through. Oh, uh, it's... Uh, uh, yeah, it'll be my mum two minutes. Ah, that's okay. So, yeah, I think he just awkwardly tries to, like, I don't know, he's not even sure if he's apologising for, like, his behaviour with the king, how awkward that was for him, the fact that you had experienced this in the city, the fact that, like, is he responsible somehow, even though that's not possible, but he feels it, you know? There's just that kind of awkwardness. And then, yeah, he's he's ended up all the way back at the villa. Him included, on the by wall. the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. I was going to ask that. Um... Uh, sorry, you were going to say, there. Well, I was wondering, is uh, her, her, I can... Haranen. Uh, her, Haranen, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the walk back, I know Haran is trying to comfort Thea, but is he still looking uncomfortable in his fine clothes, like in his fine jacket? I, yeah, he just looks uncomfortable. Full stop. I, I gesture at him, like, 
Take your jacket off. I hold it for you. I, I will hold nice jacket for you. <laughs> Are you stealing so the jacket that I bought? Is it... No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's too I'm busy offering... trying to like comfort um comfort Thea to really like understand uh, what's happening. Because I'm kind of like. I hold your jacket, you hold her better without uncomfortable jacket. <laughs> no, I don't think he's going to be paying attention <laughs> to you. I think he's um, very much like too wrapped up in his own awkwardness because he doesn't know if he's being kicked out of the kingdom. Like he maybe thinks you are being. Um, he's, Fair enough. He's kind of worried his life's just screwed over now, right? Because he's kind of like never been invited for dinner with the king. And now the king's got upset at dinner. So, so yeah. That's that's upsetting him, right? Mm. Yeah. Fair enough. To be honest, I was trying to give Fleabite a new jacket. I think you'd look dashing in a <laughs> lovely new coat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, yeah. You just end up um, somehow back at the villa. What do you do? What's uh, I think... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, well, Adair, suffering from a sore head, uh, would go looking for the, the kitchen area to probably try and find another bottle of drink of some kind, if there is any, um, and also just prepare um, some sort of meal if others are up for that. Um, just... I'd probably want to speak to Fleabite. So I'd be like, um, and like, we'll go up to him and be like, So, Fleabag, are you happy with the necklace then? I presume Fleabag is on the back of Cognac at this stage. So. I mean, you've probably been chucked off because you are in the villa now. <laughs> okay, um, Again, I'm going to just say this now and hope it sticks this time. He's not here, let's not interact with him. <laughs> Um, yeah, see, wait. Yes, yes. Uh, lucky necklace. Very shiny. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful stone. Where did you get it? Um, I will say that probably when you touch the stone, um, you'll know. You'd probably notice that it wasn't solid. Wasn't like super solid. Um, like vaguely spongy. Mm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, more like hard jelly, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Cognac turtle thing, buy it for me. Oh. That was nice of him. Just to hear him rinse that? Yes, yes. From him. Mystics and miscellanery. That's quite the name of some shop. Is it? And I kind of like lean in a wee bit and kind of like eye at the gemerald and back up to him and I'll be like, is it just for cosmetic value or is there more to this gem? It's my lucky gem. Lucky warpstone stone. And I'll just kind of like tap my nose and be like, Ah, luck is always a good thing. Only but... more stone I've been able to find. Now I'll basically be like, yes, you've mentioned this warp stuff. Um, like, tell me, what was the place you came from like? Deep, deep on the underground, we, uh, I live amongst, uh, in great Skaven colony, greatest in all the world. There was no food, um, had to <laughs> fight kill for every single meal with um, hundreds of millions of other Skaven. Yes, yes, it was greatest place. Hmm, I can definitely relate with the uh, living underground, but, uh, no, I found it too confining. So that's why I'm now 
here, I guess. Well, it's what eventually got me to here. And like, there's just this kind of like look across Albion's face, and he's like, "How the hell did I get here?" <laughs> kind of thing. Mm-hmm. that had something to do with the university and fire and <laughs> yeah yeah but it just just just, <laughs> just in general that kind of he's he's not one to like alvin's not really the type of person with a plan he just kind of goes with where his feet take him so it's like wait how the hell did i get from there to here exactly yeah because he's went from like the knock like the rock gnome sorry a uh, place mm. to like a massive city that doesn't really have many gnomes to then being a part of like some crazy university uh, that blows up and then part of the invasion squad, right? Yeah, and now I'm in Runestad trying to kill a red dragon. dragon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just um, have like this under city. I mean, miss is a weird word. I've seen it all, so I don't think I've missed anything. There is always more Undercity. Hmm. You keep going, it keeps building. Perhaps you're right. Maybe we should go back and explore it someday. See if they have made any changes. Hmm. I say, but, this, uh, I say this now for you, Scott. I, I, I well, rage quit if I have to come up with fucking gnome names the way you did. So, <laughs> <laughs> right, Ryan, Ryan, I, I will make up gnome names. Perfect. For you. There we go. Wherever okay. we go to your place, you have to name everybody. <laughs> I will come up with the names for you. Um, but on that, I'll just be like, um, but yes, I would also. That would be great if we could find some way to get you home. I would love to come with you if you would allow. Halfpen would not last long in Undercity. We'd be eaten. Ah, I can hold my own. And I just kind of like tap my, my, satch, like my satchel bag. You hold on against one, maybe a hundred, but there are millions. And I'm like, ah. <sighs> All ravenous hunger. Never see sunlight. Never see day. Never feel wind. All we know is eat and pain. I think as you said that, as all you know is hunger, you've kind of like, you keep kind of rambling on, and I'm like, kind of looking off to the side, I'm like, yeah, you are right. Hungry. Yeah, let's go get a bite to eat, and then just like walk off <laughs> uh, towards the kitchen area. Yeah, and I think with that, we've Do they have blood? I think with that we'll, we'll go back to like a deer who has found the uh, the kitchen area in the like the villa, and there's a man and a woman busying themselves in the kitchen. Ooh, kinky. Um, Can I walk in on them? Who, as it were? Who are you? This is our villa from King. And then a uh, like the woman who is. Um, Robust, you know, kind of smiles up at you and goes, Don't worry, it's almost ready. You know, sit yourself what down. Is... My what name is, is Hilda. Ready? You have a seat there, son, and we'll get you your food. Don't worry about that. What? This is Gus. I'm Hilda. Gus have a seat. Hilda? Who are you? <laughs> and then, like, you can see they've clearly just been, like, cooking loads. Oh, is are you staff of Villa? And then she kind of looks over at Gus, and Gus looks over at her, and then he goes back to like mixing something in a bowl. I am, um, and she goes back to like setting stuff that they've clearly just made from like the island in the middle of the kind of like kitchen over to the table, and she's like, "I mean, wh- what does it look like we're doing here?" Uh looks like you are cooking and making big meal for people. Okay, and you found your way to the kitchen, yes? That. So, I'm going to assume that means yes. And then, uh, you know, is that... She kind of like puts like a hand to her ear while she's holding one plate awkwardly with her other hand. And she goes, 
Yep, that's definitely a stomach rumbling. And she just puts the plate in front of you, like... And then um, uh, she just walks off to kind you. of move more of them over. Do you have uh, any wine or any alcohol uh, for me? And she kind of like stops and kind of looks at you and she goes, Do you not like the taste of it already? Oh, neat. Is, um, I have a bit of a headache, if I'm honest, and I was wanting Say no more. to and she, like, and help. She goes away to like a cupboard, opens a cupboard, pulls out like um, a couple of like small potted plants, pulls some of the leaves off them, puts them back, starts like more and pestling them away down. Uh, and then this takes her maybe a couple of minutes. Um, so maybe by this point, like, Alvin and a flea bite head in um, after your conversation. So you're just sitting at a table kind of going, I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just these, you can tell from the expression. <laughs> just these other two people clearly uh, working their way around him. Um, yeah. I'm just sitting there with food in front of me, just kind of like, yeah. And she comes back with this like uh, <laughs> like mug of like leaf juice. And that's it. Because down in one. Is this, is this alcohol or is this a tea? Neither. It'll fix and she taps you on your head twice. Uh, yeah, don't do that. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, but I would also appreciate if you have alcohol for after meal. Uh, as I pick she up. Ju- she just like gently said. slaps the back of your head. Uh, Down in one. Yeah. And off she walks. I um, What about Alvin and Flea? your reactions to this as you see these strange people? I'd just be like. <laughs> um, Hiya! Uh, Gus just kind of uh, like this... nods as he's looking up from his mixing bowl and goes back to it. I'll... I'll... Sorry, I'll turn two seconds, says... I dare. Flea bite, you want to push I in and actually speak? Would jump, yeah. <laughs> would jump onto the table where Adair is sitting. Um, like... Well, like knock over the food? Um, Not intentionally. Because the table's pretty busy with stuff now. Um. Like, this is a much smaller table than the, the one in the, the dining room. This is just like, you know, like something like a breakfast table. Um, Can I have acrobatics to try not to make over food? I mean, sure, why not? Well, <laughs> so um, yeah, you clatter some uh, plates and then like Hilda uh, like stops doing whatever she was doing with some kind of dough and he uh, runs over and just full on pushes you off the table. Do you want to try and deck save out of the way, or do you want to just let it happen? No, I, I think that that happens. Yeah. And she just looks at you and she goes, "No, just because I don't know what you are doesn't mean to say you can jump around my table ruining my food." <laughs> Head hurts. Eat medicine drink. Mhm. Then sit at the table. And I'll think about it. She just points to like a chair. So he like stands in the chair. And then uh, she kind of like, she does that thing where like, you know, like as if an auntie has told you off, but she's like trying not to laugh, but just narrows her eyes at you. Where like, they know they need to be a disciplinarian, but they also don't care. Like, that's the kind of look that she's kind of giving you. And then uh, she walks away and like, does the same thing where she like mixes you a headache drink. Um, and yeah, Alvin, do you sing anything at all? Da what what? Do you say anything at all? Or I thought you, you said, do I sing anything at all? Sure, that too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was just like, um, so what are you guys doing here? And then you just hear her sighing as she's mixing this thing with the, the mortar and pestle. This is where I would, Adair turns to Alvin and says, this is Goose and Hilda. Uh, they have made all this food, uh, and they also make a headache go away drink. Um, I and I'll whisper this to Alan. I don't know if they have alcohol or not, but if you can try and find out, I would appreciate. I am in need of a drink. Mm. Um, While well, you are having a think about what to do, like what, where's Thea and uh, Haranen? Um, I think yeah. as soon as like Thea got in, um, she just went and maybe just kind of sat herself down, 
like on the like the edge of a seat or on like the edge of a bed or something. Okay. Which would you um, prefer I... and where? Wow. <laughs> that everyone was uh -huh. a train. <laughs> <laughs> Alvin what opens is his this? bag and a train comes out. Train. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, I think like the, like maybe if she she would back she joined yeah she would go to the like the edge of a bed. Turning really looking for um, like an actual bedroom. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And she'd like kind of throw her bag of masks, and the the mask on her head would just be thrown onto the bed, and she'd be holding her formerly expressionless mask in her hands, mm -hmm. and she just kind of sits down. And, um, and stares at, and she's still kind of like feeling over the, the crack, and then the, her little happy and sad, yeah, like carving she did on it, yeah. I think there's like an awkward like knock on the door frame. Um, it's her aunt's clearly just awkwardly in the hall with his like back against the door frame, so he's not like looking into the room. It's like is, is everything okay? I think she just looks up, and there's like maybe a moment of silence. She just says, "No." Oh. Oh. Um. How how can I help? I. I don't know. Should I, I go? Just don't... No. No. Should I stay? I don't think she says anything. I think she just kind of starts like rubbing her eyes and um, stares at the mask. And I think she just starts talking about. Um... See, I don't actually know what she would say. <laughs> But she just starts talking like about um maybe some sort of like um past like um teaching at like the the chaos temple or whatever. Okay. Is there like just a like a, a tone or a point to like the, the conversation you're wanting to try and convey to him? Uh, or is it just for the sake of rambling? I think it's for the sake of rambling, but more like um, spitting out stuff so that in her head she might be able to organize thoughts. Okay, yeah. And um, I think he just stands outside the room, like again with his back against like, the door frame, so he just kind of waits quietly as you're talking, just so it's like he's in earshot, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think he says anything. Um, but yeah, I think um, if we have like you kind of like rambling in that, is there anything else you want to say to him before I'm switching back to you know the the kitchen area? Um, no, I think like after like a substantial amount of time, um, there would be like a bit of silence, and she would just say thank you and lie down. I kind of like awkwardly, it's like, oh, uh, sure, and then he kind of like turns around to like smile at you but then you've like lay down and he kind of like awkwardly looks embarrassed and kind of just stands back just in the door frame with his back to the room and he just stands there you know like a guard mm -hmm. and um yeah and I think we switch back to a uh, team kitchen and uh Fleabite is presented <laughs> with a very questionable leaf drink how does it smell <laughs> well, <laughs> funny you should ask. <laughs> um, I think he'll just sort of sniff it and look at the, the woman to see if she takes like a step away. Yeah, she just stands staring at you, like expectantly with her hands on her hips. Well, okay. down in one. So then Fleabite will attempt, there's going to be some sort of role, Fleabite will attempt to Snort it. Oh, snort the leaf juice. Yes. I mean, it's a big mug of it. Like, I think yes, you would which is... I think you might actually drown if you snorted this much. Like, why are you 
snorting it. I'm confused. He loves in fact, to snort stuff. Right, your flea bite. I was going to say, he just told you he's from an underground world of uh, millions of people like him with no food that all have to fight for everything. I feel like this is the least of the weird uh, him. moments. Yeah. But yes, um, I genuinely feel like you'd probably drown if you did this, so... If if he succeeded in snorting it, um, I presume he would start trying to snort it and then some level of natural reaction would cause him to... Yeah, I don't feel like that's a rule, I think that's just a scene. Because okay. I think, what's the success you make a new character? Do you know? Then, yeah, he, he starts um, snorting it. And then when it starts to, like, block his lungs, he then has a proper, like, splutter and spit out to try and not die. Yeah, that's awful. It is awful. It would be like trying to drink nettles. Um, pretty bad. I like nettle tea. Nettle tea's really good. But this isn't nettle tea. It's just nettles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, it's not, it's not great. Um, Upon seeing this, Adair, well, yeah, I'm going to try and slight hand hide this somehow, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> what is it you're trying um, to do? Well, at first I was like, if I push it away, she's going to get annoyed and stand over me until I drink it, which I did not want to do after seeing that reaction. Um, so... I would like to pick it up and stand up and take a wee walk around just to be looking at things and at some point slide a hand it, spill it into either a potty plant or something that I know is around the room that I can discard this drink in. Interesting, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think um, as you're having those thoughts, she's kind of standing over mm -hmm. just staring at a, as I said, flea bite with her hands on her hips and she looks at you and the fact that you haven't drank it yet and she's like, is your headache gone already? Um, oh, is a may I? I'm feeling a, a lot better. Thank you. Uh, may have just been vaporous from drink has helped. Uh, I feel so much better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And do you want to mm -hmm. give me some deception, do you? Uh, yet. <laughs> I mean, maybe he is feeling better. <laughs> and um, yeah, but he's saying it's do in fact potentially the vapors from the drink which might be true, maybe that is that off-putting to drink, you'd rather just get over the headache um, and what's, <laughs> while this is happening, what's Flea Bite doing? Are you like, you know, back up on your seat not choking? Um, yeah, I think um, you'll probably like then, as you said as, as a there, just talk to the vapors mm -hmm. then try and, and give the, the vapors a sniff as well yeah uh, you can roll perception if you want, and I think Thea, yeah, you can probably hear like <laughs> voices, especially ones you don't necessarily recognise. Mainly mm -hmm. another female voice, and children, uh, obviously. Yeah. Roll what did you say? Uh, perception. Just flee bite, yeah. Yeah. I think Thea would go through like after, um, maybe after a, a not insubstantial amount of. Lying in silence. And then um, the. So before we like, I'll come back to you in a second though. That's why like, you can definitely yeah. hear this. Much like we can hear Scott's uh, location. And um, <laughs> yeah, Flea Bite, you get very little on that, let's face it. It just smells like really, really bad, like crushed leaves in some water. Some really bad crushed leaves in some water. Um, I guess then he just figures what the hell and just downs it. Normally. Yeah. Do you want to give me a con save? Oh. Now, any way to get to disadvantage <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> I suppose if you just drank the glass as well, maybe? <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, you um, sit there and like, you you have almost like 
the tiniest, mildest static electricity, like in your brain, ever so slightly. That kind of like that's the feeling you have of this. Um, is is it countering the um, feeling of like nettles in my throat? Yeah, um, <laughs> definitely. Um, but it definitely does seem to have um, relaxed you, if nothing else. Um, like, maybe for the first time, Fleabite has never realised what not having tense shoulders are. Um, because you've maybe always had to be on edge. Yeah, very much. So I'm sure the world is ready for that. <laughs> just if I can, the phones. The skaven phones. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then you kind of just like... I don't know, maybe you do slump in the chair after you drink it, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, I don't know... How disturbed does that make Alvin and Adair, I guess, seeing a slumped and relaxed flea bite? As far as, hmm. you know, we can describe. I think I'd just kind of be like, go over and be like, you okay there, buddy? And then uh, Hilda turns to Adair and says, come on, you're next. Down in one. Um, after seeing this, I look at what's just happened to Flea Bite. So, uh, I suppose, okay. So, I shoot it back. Better in the note. Um, oh, nah. So, I drink. Yeah, so go, for it. Good. go for it. And Con save. He downs it. Uh, oh. Well, I got your concept. <laughs> yeah, and it's a very, very similar thing happens. Like, again, your shoulders relax. You kind of, like, maybe slump back in the chair a bit. Just, you know, uh, much comfier. It is um, full-body Botox moments, you know? Um, yeah. Hmm. You're just a bit more comfier. Is it sort of... Um, oh, what's it correct? Terminal like Ethor and Ethoria? Like is it a lot Euphoria. Thank is you. That, is it that kind of effect no, in it's, my brain? It's more like um tension. Like a muscle relaxant. Just um, a muscle relaxant. But it's like when, you've got like senses. a you've got like tingling static electricity like running up like the back of your like, you know, brainstem. Okay. But there's no like euphoria, there's no like loss of cognition or anything. There is okay. um it is mostly a physical, like, relaxant that you seem to have drank, from what you can tell from its effects, at least. Um, but how does it taste? Quite vile. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, it's crushed. So I would juice. not ask yeah. for seconds, despite no. how I feel. No, but yeah. it definitely, it definitely <laughs> did the job. Um, and then Hilda just kind of smiles as if pleased with herself, and she goes, "Um, this isn't everybody, though, is it?" And we can just assume Cognac came through and sat down and didn't have a headache. Um, and, I didn't uh, have a headache. Yeah, but you're already here, not having complained of a headache, so you're fine. Um, Yay! And then, Thea, do you want to head through? Are you going to suggest Haranen comes with you or leave him awkwardly standing? I think, like, if if he's still standing outside the door, um, as she walks past, you just put a hand on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then, like, stand there briefly... And then just pat pat him on the shoulder. I think if there's like even a moment of you standing there briefly, he just goes and hugs you. Oh, I think um, yeah, I think Thea just kind of stands there and takes the hug. Um, and it's a proper you know, good sort hug of like well. this is abrupt. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then like maybe after a second, if it goes on slightly too long, she. Like you know, proper upper packs. back support level of hug we're talking, you know. That oh, good be. hug! Mm -hmm. Oh I man, want, I, I want a oh, hug. I wish I had. <laughs> I wish I had someone to hug me like right now. Uh, wow! Anyway. So uh, for our highest level Patreon subscribers, you can <laughs> hug a cast member. <laughs> 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 Hashtag no. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, and then eventually she'll just give in and like, you know do the kind of, you know, awkward kind of hug thing and then um, walk through to the kitchen, I guess. Yeah. And um, 
think her, her eyes are definitely like you know raw that sort of red raw from having been crying definitely like yeah and i think um her aunt says i i think i should i should maybe maybe let my my folks know wh where i am because if it, i didn't come home this is like before you join them in the kitchen obviously he's like I should I should maybe let them know where where I am and that the horses are okay and I'm okay and I, yeah God I, I'm okay. Um, um, do do you want me to come back or shall shall I maybe? I mean, if you if you have time t tomorrow, maybe we could. And he doesn't really know what he's trying to say, right? But <coughs> yeah, and he's just kind of looking at you for you to like save him from the. Uh, Verbal mess that he's making. Yeah, I think she runs her like fingers through her hair, and um, that, the only reason I said that is because that's literally what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at um, you daydreaming of her running. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, she like, yeah, kind of like puts her hands into like her forehead and pushes her hair back and just says, "If you're free, come back." And she like half smiles and turns to the kitchen. And you're deliberately leaving it vague as to the morning or a uh, tonight. Yeah, I I feel like in like she doesn't care when he comes back. Well, okay, yeah. But like, so she doesn't want to just say come back now or later or yeah, because it's just going to end up as like a a verbal mess of yeah. conversation think, like, of like two people going well come come later t to tomorrow maybe today and you like oh well um should i come now or yeah. like and i think uh, um, and like, as it goes to like you go to walk away and he goes to go to like hug or maybe kiss you and then he stops awkwardly and then maybe you turn around because you notice him stopping awkwardly and then he sure. goes to like motion to the clothes he's got and goes do you want these back and he looks he awkward in naked. them. Yes, make him walk home naked. <laughs> it's like, no, they were, they were yours. I don't know why she said where, <laughs> are. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. And um, he says, right, um, goodbye for now. I guess. And he kind of like yeah. awkwardly smiles because he doesn't really know. What the fuck he's doing? Quite frankly, it's like yeah. I'll be back, and he kind of just like smiles, like hopefully, and then like heads off. Did he say that in Austrian accent? Because yeah, <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say he just says she'll be Beethoven, but that's uh... mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no terrible, terrible. Um... Lightning curves its way through the windows <laughs> and strikes the. <laughs> uh, um... Um... I think she just nods at him saying that and, you know, then actually goes to the... Yeah, he, like, bolts for the door anyway and, like, tries yeah, to... Yeah, that's fine. Because he's mostly going to just let his kitchen. folks know that they don't have to go send out a search party for a missing boy because some strangers took him off to the woods. Um, <laughs> or that the king maybe had him killed because he went up to dinner. Um, so, I mean... Yeah, it's fair. I, right? I mean, I mean he, he, he came willingly, right? As far as we know. So, I just realized, how old is this guy? Like 14, yeah, right, 15? so... Uh, <laughs> his age is indeterminate. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, intimidation age, so we're fine. No, then, uh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> age of consent and intimidation age are two completely different things, according to, well, Alexander. Wow, <laughs> wow, such such overt but accurate, um, <laughs> you know, non-slander. Um, but anyway, moving swiftly on from that joke... Um, and references to other games like Caverns and COVID. Feel free to go check those out. Um, then, Which you can now because they're actually there. The yeah, so like you you head to the the kitchen and you're greeted by you know the gang that are all sat awkwardly at like this you know kind of circular table uh, with some kind of like seats and stuff. Very rusticy looking um, for the villa. Mm -hmm. um, Gus just nods to you as you walk in and then kind of like grunts to uh, Hilda and Hilda turns around and smiles and says, Ah, good, you're all here. Have a, have a seat. 
I think she just rubs her eyes and looks around and goes, uh, uh, who are you? She like rolls her eyes, like with a big smile on her face, and everybody hears the screaming in the audience. Obviously, at the eyes rolling, and um... I think Mia maybe kind of takes like a sort of like not a, not in, like a I'm going to kill you stance, but like a, a very weary sort of stance as whether or not she needs to kind of defend her? herself really soon or mur you know not murder. Um, yeah, like you just take a really defensive stance, and um, she uh, she kind of just smiles kind of warmly, and she goes. Kind of like walks around the table, uh, pulls out like a, a one of the empty chairs just to like kind of like be really unsubtle about her suggestion that you sit down. She walks up to you and she just goes, like wipes away maybe some of the kind of tears that are on your cheeks, and uh, mm -hmm. and she kind of looks at you, you know, and does that thing where she picks up part of her apron, you know, licks a bit of it, and then just starts to, like wipe away just underneath your eyes a bit, um, just kind of without saying anything or asking any kind of form of you know personal space reasons. And, uh, yeah. and then she just leans in and she well, just that's... like grapple hugs you, um, and kind of pats you roughly on the back twice, um, and then like releases you into like her two hands on your shoulders. And she looks at you and kind of goes, "See, you're better now." And then she kind of like opens like from you out and gestures to the chair. What does Thea do? Thea death stares this woman. Um, yeah, like I, I was like, um, she, I think she definitely flinches when she gets like, um, I can't cast Eldritch Blast. Um, hashtag worst warlock. Um, <laughs> How can you not cast Eldritch Blast? Uh, because I refuse to take it. It's it's also questionable whether Fleabag can, unless it's against himself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, no, like. Um, I think she's just stunned through the whole like ordeal as like of of how audacious this woman's mm. being <laughs> just touching her um, and yeah she she just stands there and yeah, as she strong can't, overbearing like, mother vibes yeah and I think she yeah. will like she will motion to like push you into the chair and stuff as well like like gently like as if you know this is me being subtle love sit down etc whatever but um yeah, like does Thea actively resist being moved, as well? Oh yeah, I think uh, if she keeps like kind of pushing, she says, "I'd rather stand." <laughs> and then I like out pause for a second and just go, "Ma'am," and then she just goes, "No, to yourself, love. That's fine." You know, it's just a bit awkward to eat standing up. And then, it's uh, fine. I'm and you can see the like the place smells of food. Like it, it mm -hmm. really does. Um, to the point where you probably are, right? Because when's the last time Thea ate? Oh no, Thea's definitely hungry, yeah. but she's saying she's not hungry. Uh, the smell of food's probably making it worse as well, right? Like it is yeah, probably that sure. like, you know, proper, like everything feels freshly baked here as well. Like she's literally, like between her and Gus, they have literally just made everything. Probably mm -hmm. since you have been, had dinner cancelled and have had to walk all the way down. It's probably been that length of time these people have been asked to yeah. prepare everything would be a reasonable guess. Um, and then she like brings over some more of the food, which is some kind of bizarre soup stuff with like some some bread and whatnot. Um, and then there's like pancakes as well made up, um, and it's all just sat on the the table. And she's like, "Well, tuck in, you know. Can't have you just going to bed in an empty stomach." And she just looks at the group. Kind of smiling. I think Thea does that thing where you know she kind of picks at like a little bit of food um, to like you know look like she's not hungry at all, mm. and then after like actually putting like food in her mouth, starts to just pig out. <laughs> yeah, um, Alvin and Adair, uh, Fleabite. Is there munching going on? Oh yeah, I'm just wolfing into stuff. Yeah, yeah I'll be picking at bits. And it does it just tastes yeah. like kind of like homemade, like freshly baked and like, you know, various other types of like homemade soup for example like the homemade soup, etc. Um mm. I, it all just tastes whatever, you know, reasonable ingredients would taste like, right? Um So he like probably like dives his hand into the the, the stream. Trying to like fish out any like bits of meat. Yeah. Um, 
and there is probably a fair chunk of it, right? Like it is probably quite thick, um, as well for Fleabout. So Fleabout is possibly quite entertained by this, at least in the sense that there's you know substance to the food this time. Um, yeah, any vegetables just completely ignored. Just yeah, like meat doing and um, shoved in. Yeah, and it's a shame that uh, Adair is BRBing now because we're about to take our break as well. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, does Thea take her seat at the table eventually, or does she just stay standing awkwardly eating? She does stay standard, uh, standardly awkward. Awkwardly eating. Um, I think after a moment, she'd also just look around and say, "Wine." And then, Expectantly. Uh, what? Just expecting wine to just appear in front of her. Yeah, well, it worked with the robots. And uh, I mean, that is very true, actually. So you're like a hissing from the behind Gus, and he turns around, and it's like a kettle going off. And uh, she's like, "Hmm, don't think it's wine for tonight. It's too late for wine." Hilda says, and she kind of like walks away and goes back with Gus, and then pours a like there's a kind of very small like a a, a hot liquid smell that hits you. Um, very milky. And she comes over and she sits just a mug of hot milk on the table at the empty seat. There you go. Uh, I, 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 I don't. I'm. Um. Uh, you do know. Come on. I, I don't. I don't. I don't drink milk. And she kind of looks at you and she goes, you "Don't drink milk." Is this why you're so pale and so frail? Frail. And she kind of just like she kind of smirks. You know, and then she'll adjust herself, and she's quite a big woman, this Hilda. You know, um, we're talking Count Ducula levels of um, uh-huh. <laughs> of women, and um, you know, she kind of just nods, and she's like, "I don't mean no offence, Miss. I just mean, you know, you've been cooked for, and you've been a wee bit rude. I'm just asking you to have a seat, like a civilized person." Settling in, and like maybe some of the cheer has kind of lost, like kind of gone from her cheeks a bit. I think of that. Thea smiles. I'm um, like like a genuine smile. Um, and um, Gus is still just mixing just, something in a bowl yeah. again. Just kind of nods at her and takes her seat, and she's like very um. Not overly elegantly, but you know, quite quite elegantly sits down in her seat and has very good posture for all of a few minutes. And I think when when you eventually sit down, she's like, "Right now, who else wants some hot milk?" And she kind of like smiles again and kind of seems warm and friendly again. Um, I was just kind of. She doesn't even wait milk. for you to answer. She just gives everybody hot milk. Like that was not a question that she really cared about the answer for. Like she just <laughs> handed everybody <laughs> mugs of hot milk. Um, like, you'll be getting this. And then she hands off the uh, them out. And then she Sorry, goes, I am, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. She kind of looks at you and she goes, I don't know what that means. And she pushes the milk towards you. <laughs> and then uh, she sits down on just one of the empty chairs and she kind of like pulls it back a little bit from the uh, like the uh, the table just so she's not interrupting the, the meal, as it were. And she says, Now that I have you here, though, and then she clicks her fingers. And uh, her and Gus form into one being, magically. <gasps> and uh, all this, like, you know, frilly red hair kicks out the back of this woman's, uh, like, wrapped headdress. And then, um, you know, like, stretches and twists, and she becomes all skinny and slender, and her big kind of velvety red dress hits the ground. The room slightly warps a little bit to, like, accommodate the jank that's been happening. Ah. <sighs> She smiles with her jeweled teeth. I am very interested in this dragon egg user after. And we take our break there, obviously. Um, So, I will see everybody in ten minutes. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye, everybody. everybody. See you.